This is no ordinary bridge. It's a jaw-dropping marvel, defying the river and the sky. The fourth rail bridge, Scotland's Red Titan. One glimpse, and you know, this is a monument to human daring, not just a crossing. Forged in the age of steam, it's stretched across the Firth of Forth since 1890, a Victorian dream made real. Imagine the fear, trains trembling over dark waters, memories of disaster haunting every crossing. The old bridge, gone, swept away by a storm, trust shattered. So when they built the fourth rail bridge, they built it to conquer fear itself. Over 50,000 tons of steel, enough to silence doubt, enough to last forever. The first great British structure of steel, not iron. A leap into the future. Picture the chaos. Steam cranes shrieking, scaffolds swaying, men clinging to life above the swirling tide. Danger was everywhere. Over fifty men lost their lives. Safety nets. Brand new, but hope was thin. Their sacrifice built a legend. Scale is staggering, an iron giant against the sky. Nearly two and a half kilometers long, an unbroken line of ambition. Massive cantilevers hold the heart of the bridge, like outstretched arms, defying gravity. Imagine giant diving boards, only these carry trains, not swimmers. Steel and nerve, built for locomotives. For over a century, hands painted every inch, red against the Scottish sky, year after year. By the time the last stroke dried, it was time to begin again, a never-ending labor of love. But the fourth rail bridge is more than size and steel. It's a symbol of hope, of progress, of Scotland's spirit. It's on banknotes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and still, after 130 years, trains thunder across its bones. Next time you see its photo, remember, this is living history. A monument to dreams and to the hands that built them. Proof that when humans dream big, they can move mountains and rivers and they're never afraid of a little hard work. Victorian ambition, modern endurance, one masterpiece.